Well, the first thing to explain on the tightening tab is what's this chart all about? This is a plot of the bolt and the clamp force expressed as a percentage of bolt yield. And this is the joint tension also expressed as a percentage of the bolt yield. Now this joint tension mustn't be confused with bolt tension. The joint tension is shown by the red arrows here. Now, as we've already seen from our um, discussion on method, in a batch of bolts we will have a high pretension and a low pretension. So this is the point before we've actually applied any external load to the joint. So we have our high pretension and our low pretension there, and this is the spread we were talking about that can reduce if you use a more accurate tightening method. And what we've seen from the clamp tab is that when we apply tension to the joint, some of the load goes into the tension of the bolts, but most of the load goes into relieving the compression within the clamp material. So this axis here showing the increase in joint tension shows how before any joints, before any load is applied to the joint, we only have a pretension load in the bolt, and that same pre value is the amount of compression you have in the joint too. But as we apply load, the bolt load increases slightly and the compression load reduces quite a lot. This point here is important. It's called the separation point. And it's good practice really to have a separation point before the bolt breaks. So before you get to 100% of the yield, let's have the joint separate. Now, a separation point is when you're pulling so hard here that you can uh, see the gap appearing between the clamp parts and there's in fact no compression um, in the plates whatsoever. Now let's have a look at some of the controls on the program here. We've got a choice here. We can uh, apply a torque here. If we happen to know the tightening torque then we can uh, put a tightening torque in here. And let, let's, let's, let's make a quick change and see what happens. Let's increase that to uh, 25. Uh, so uh, 250 newton meters or 250,000 newton millimeters as it's here uh, and if I just uh, click out of the box there well the extra uh, torque has uh, done a good job of increasing our pretension but that bolt isn't going to hold out very much before it goes be reaches 100% of yield so maybe that wasn't such a good idea so I'm going to pop that back to 19 or 190 rather and I'm going to show you another way of using the program. We can either uh, forward calculate from a torque value uh, to a separation point of 89%, which is this point up here, or we can choose to set that to a different value. So I'm going to set it to, let's choose for sake of argument, 75%. So I put that position there, the separation point, to 75%. Now, this is important for us. Uh, I actually prefer to set a separation point, usually somewhere quite high, even uh, about 90%. And this comes from um, a tradition in the oil and gas industries where if you have a bolted joint, it's always seen as good practice to, uh, for a joint to leak, i.e. it reaches its separation point, so you could see some oil leaking from uh, uh, that joint. Uh, before the bolt breaks because it's going to give you an indication uh, that the joint is in trouble.